Some Michigan healthcare workers say they are overworked, underpaid, and now they're facing workplace violence in medical centers. Now they are asking state lawmakers to step in and do something about it. Michelle Lopez is an emergency room technician at McLaren Hospital. She's been working in healthcare for over 20 years and has seen lots of things, including violence against her and her colleagues. Lopez says this kind of thing happens all the time and she'd like lawmakers to step in. We just need the lawmakers to be like, all right, let's step up. Let's, you know, try to help these healthcare workers, you know, and it's, and it's, mind boggling that no one speaks out about it as much. last week lopez says a patient punched her several times in the face and stabbed a doctor who tried to help her and then as i said stop he like um hit me in my face three times he like and at that point i bent down to like protect my face and he grabbed i wear a hat at work and so he grabbed that and was like trying to pull at my hair, which he did. Lopez says she cried today when she went to brush her hair and noticed a bald spot caused by the assault. What Lopez experienced isn't uncommon. Unions are aware of this issue and they're working towards some solutions. So uh, the Michigan Nurses Association is actually working on legislation with legislators um, in this at the state level on a workplace violence prevention bill. Um, I know that the Michigan Hospital Association is working on um, another bill. So together, they would be amazing protection for everyone. The bill the Michigan Nurses Association is working on would require employers to have a workplace violence prevention plan in place, training for all hospital employees, and reporting guidelines for all of the instances that happen. Sparrow Health System says workplace violence is an issue there, and they have a special code used by workers called Code BERT to help. They, and it's the Behavioral Emergency Response Team, and that brings with it a um, uh, social worker, a nurse leader, and a security officer, and we try to help the caregiver in that moment. Lopez tells Fox 47 News there is going to be a million nurse march in Washington, D.C. in May. One of the main issues attendees will address is workplace violence. Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.